definitely an over slot fish. No way. Look at that. <laughs> the red almost swam right up to me. Got a nice turn. So today we're exploring a new area with an incoming tide. I'm using the gulp swimming mullet because it's one of my favorite lures to throw. Oh, I just had a bite. So I'm just moving around, casting, and looking for fish today. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. This video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. That's where I got this trout eye, one eighth ounce jig head that I'm throwing today. They're an online tackle shop. I'll have the link to their website in the description of this video. So go check them out. Yeah, I just saw my first redfish. Obviously I got way too close to it. It was over slot. It looked like it had a tag on it. That's how close I got to it. I'm really glad to see a fish though, so. It really did look like it was tagged. That's why I need to just be more careful. Look for the fish. I could have sight casted that one. If I was prepared for it. There's our first red of the day for sure. Man, I wish I got that hit on camera. He took off. Dang, he's freaking out too. Now he's coming at me. He's gonna take off in a second. I'm using reverse to stay out of the spot where I hooked him at. Because obviously there's probably a lot more fish over there. Definitely an over slot fish. Great first fish of the day. Love how these fish fight. Uh oh. There we go. Gaze. Yeah, probably 24. Not a giant, but oh my god, they fight. It's a eighth ounce trout eye jig head with a gulp swimming wallet. measurement and release. Oh, not bad, 26. It's a nice 26 inch red. First fish of the day. get some more so the thing I do when I'm exploring is when I see or catch a fish I mark it on my GPS and then when I pass back by that spot on my way 
back to the launch, I'll be able to kind of find where I caught or saw those fish and fish it more and explore that area more to try to figure out if there's more fish there. Dang, I was about to cast right up there too. Big red just splashed around in there, chasing bait. Getting out of the kayak, because this is a tiny little creek, but then it's deep over here, and I keep hearing splashing. There's got to be at least like a flounder in here. So usually it's like right here, you know, where this grass is, where the deep water, that's a flounder I bet, yep, it's about to explain that that's where fish would sit, it's not a bad one either, they would sit, uh, the water's flowing over here into a deep spot, hook just came out, um, and then this grass point, you know, in this opening, it just, you know, they stage up and wait for bait to, to come over there and, I mean, there actually turned out that there were fish there. Try to get a measurement without losing him. The new regulations is they have to be 16. Oh, he's only 14 anyways. Wasn't gonna keep him no matter what, but... Got a little flounder. Let him go in the shallow water and let him pick where he wants to swim. He going right back where he came from. And now, I'll throw some a couple more casts. I have a feeling that there's a red hanging around somewhere by this grass. That was a bite. Might have been another flounder. Should have let him take it. Yeah, there's definitely a few fish just hanging around here. Well, the water's flowing in this way and that way, and there's just a little tiny grass point. My kayak is still sitting there. It's almost moving. I need to pull it before it floats away. Because the tide is coming in. There we go. It'll stay for a little bit longer. Let me get a few more casts. So maybe I should explain better uh, what made me focus on this spot and end up catching a fish. So there's quite a few things that kind of line up that make me think a fish might be sitting here. One thing, there's like, you can see I'm standing here and then it's like a drop off there. So a little bit deeper water over there. And then there's also current flowing in from the tide and grass. So all those things kind of line up to turn it into a spot where a fish might be at. Doesn't mean they're always going to be there, but... In this situation, there was a flounder there, and I also did have another bite, but it's probably just another flounder. No way. Look at that. <laughs> the red almost swam right up to me. Oh man, I hope that showed up on camera. I mean, it had to have. He was right there. He came right through the grass right here. I hope the camera showed that. Gotta make sure I mark this area right here on my GPS when I get in my kayak. So one more thing before I move on, which is how I'm working the lure. It's pretty simple, I'm just throwing it out. I want it to be extremely close, basically I want it to sink all the way to the bottom. Then I'm just like bouncing it on bottom, sometimes I'll just reel it straight. And sometimes I'll bounce it, you know, I'm not moving it fast, because I want to make sure it stays on the bottom. 
and you see I'm like snagging on shells and stuff that are on bottom but that's a good sign because it means you're getting your lure down deep enough I wish I could show how I hooked this trout he came back for it after he let go of it I didn't have the camera oh oh well I mean it's like a 12 inch trout but he hit it and then dropped it and I saw him and I let it back down and he hit it again and he took it you should follow me on Instagram uh, it's just at Buford SC fishing I post pictures and videos of fishing related stuff almost every day so go check out my Instagram I'll have a link in the description and you can see it on the screen right now always fun to stop and see what's in these holes back here so that's what I'm gonna do real quick might not be deep enough for anything but you never know unless you go find out looks pretty deep there's definitely bait in there big bait oh I wish I had a cast net all right this is pretty funny <laughs> that I somehow hooked a pinfish like that yeah it's a pinfish great thing is I have a cork and this is like a perfect bait so we're not gonna Missed the opportunity to use this. Catch reds, trout, flounder. Let's all eat it. I think we got a trout. Yep, there's a little trout. Just on like a grass point, really. On the swimming mullet 12 inch or whatever i'm gonna keep fishing because i had a couple other bites too all right i don't it might be a clown no nope, another trout i think it's a little bit bigger than the other ones too yeah a little bit i mean it's still not a keeper though that's why i'm not trying to net it actually it's a really skinny trout it could have been a keeper. I don't know. Just got him close to the grass. That's really... At this point, with how high the water is, that's really the only type of structure I know to fish. Because I don't know this area very well. I don't know where the uh, oyster bars are anymore. So I'm just looking for grass. And that's what I'm fishing. Grass points, pretty much. We got a nice trout. No, I say nice, but not really. He's fighting hard. <laughs> Still uh, not not a keeper. There's a lot of like 12, 13 inch trout today. This might be the biggest one of the day though. I think he's worth a little bit of a measurement because just to see, he might be a keeper. Yeah, he's over 14. If we just got a nice flounder at the end of the day, that'd be nice. First keeper trout of the day, that's a 14, a little over 14 incher. Not a giant, and I'm not keeping fish, but just nice to catch a you know, bigger one than what I've been catching all day. So even though obviously this wasn't like one of my best days of fishing. So I fished a completely new area. I've only been fishing for a little less than three hours. I found the reds. I only caught one, but it was a good size red. So that was really fun. I uh, found the trout. There were small trout, but I still found trout and a flounder. And it was small, but 
got all three in a pretty short amount of time for you know just exploring an area and looking for spots so overall i'm definitely happy with the day of fishing i really hope you enjoyed this video i kind of explained a little bit of what i was looking for when i'm looking for new spots if you found any of the information useful or the video entertaining please leave a like down below it really helps out my channel and of course if you're not subscribed right now please subscribe and thank you for watching Thank you.